welcome to lesson four where we're going to be discussing commentaries. Before we dive in, I do wanna run a couple of things by you. In this lesson, I am going to show you the different types of commentaries that are available to you. Just like the Bible, there is an audience in mind for each commentary that is written. There are academic commentaries, which are called technical commentaries. For these commentaries, you do have to have a basic understanding of Greek and Hebrew. Don't worry because those aren't really going to be useful for us. We aren't doing textual criticism, okay? Then we have pastoral commentaries, which is what I'm really going to push for you guys to use. Pastoral commentaries give you more information than what you're going to be teaching, but you need to have that information stored in your head. So when your students start asking you questions, you have those answers ready to go. Then we're going to show you where you can purchase commentaries and where you can get them for free. I hooked you guys up, so excited. So let's go ahead and dive in and check out commentaries. One last thing before we do that, do not rush to the commentary when you're reading scripture. Go ahead and use the other tools and wrestle with the passage that you are reading first, then consult the commentaries. I want you guys to try to figure out what God's trying to say about himself, about his word, about his people, before you rush to what man has to say. And the reason for this is we are creating scholars. You guys are on your way to becoming Bible scholars, and I wanna make sure that you're critically thinking. Let's go ahead and check out commentaries. Hey guys, really quick before we show you how to use a hard copy of a commentary, I wanna show you a hard copy of how you can find the correct commentary for what you're trying to do. I highly, highly recommend you get Commentary and Reference Survey by John Glenn. If you purchase nothing else, um, buy a study Bible and then make this your second purchase. This gives you insight into conservative versus progressive um, commentaries. It also tells you how to rate them. So is this for a seminary student or is it for a layman or is it for a pastor? Super handy tool that will help you decide on reference guides get it. Now I'm going to show you a hard copy of a commentary and how to use that. This is the only one that I have available at my house. The rest are in my husband's office, so I'm sorry, but this is a really handy one. It is a smaller one, um, as you can see, so they don't have to be huge, hand for size for comparison. Um, they do not have to be humongous lug around ones, even though those are going to obviously have more information in them. This is just something that's easy, quick, um, especially if you're just doing Bible studies that you just need a little bit of insight into. So let's go ahead and open it up. And as you can see, all commentaries will tell you what section it's talking about. And as you flip through the pages, it just gives you more information on those scriptures and passages that you're reading in that section. In the beginning, um, we've marked it up a little bit. Obviously, we've used it. In the beginning, it does give you more insight into that book that you are getting ready to study in that commentary. You'll notice that it does have a lot of the same features as the study Bible. The difference is a commentary is going to have way more information because your study Bible is a more condensed version. So just a little handy guide. Let's go ahead and check out how to use them online, where we can find them and how to choose them. Hey guys. Before we jump into how to use commentaries online, I want you guys to see this website because I think it's one of the most helpful reference tools when choosing a commentary. At the top, you'll see bestcommentaries.com. Underneath, it tells you the OT books, which are your Old Testament books, and then your NT books. These are the two areas that you're probably gonna be using the most. And for the sake of showing you how to use this website, let's hit Ruth. Now you see that the score on the left, it goes to 100%, and these are the ratings that have been voted on by pastors, theologians, and scholars. Then there is in the cover, it shows you a picture of what the commentary looks like. Then the author, it tells you who the author is obviously. The title, sometimes in your smaller books, they will put more than one together. So for instance, here we have Judges and Ruth because Ruth is kind of a smaller book. Um, and then the series. Um, this series is the New American Commentary. It's a good series. So if you ever see these blue books with that maroon um, lining, it's an okay book. You're good to go. It tells you the year that it was published. 
the newer the commentary, the better, because we often come across different archaeological finds. We learn more about the Greek language, and it gives us more insight into things that have happened. If your commentaries are old, that's not a big deal. Just keep that in mind. And then you'll see that there are tags. They rate their tags by P, T, and D. The P stands for pastoral, the T stands for technical, and the D stands for devotional. If you guys will please stick with the devo- or the I'm sorry, the pastoral, the technical, like we stated earlier, are focused more for scholars and you do often have to have that basic understanding of Greek and Hebrew. And then the devotional, they're not bad. I just think you guys are a step ahead of where the devotionals are. So, let's go ahead and click on this one and see what it has to offer. This gives you more information. It tells you how many pages are involved, who publishes it, when it was published, all of the goodies, and then you can even click on these links and it'll take you to those places. Now, I want to show you how you can find this for free. So let's highlight, whoops, let's highlight the series, copy, and then go to books.google.com. This is where we're going to find our free commentaries. In the search bar, I'm going to paste it and then I'm going to type in Ruth because that's the commentary we were looking at. Search and look right there, it pops up. So let's click it and this one is available to view online for free. So you could just scroll through and as you can see, you have found a free commentary available to you. So here's how we use it. We know how to use the maps. We know how to look at those because we have lessons on that, right ladies? And then here, it's an introduction outline. If you know what you're looking for, um, this will help you double click it and it'll take you to that section or area. And then um, you keep going. Sorry, this is just one of those things. You got to painfully sit through while we scroll through. Here, okay, the theological significance of Israel's performance. As you can see, it's chapter 2, verses 1 through 23. And then here, the commentary even breaks it down further. Chapter 2, verses 1 through 5. You can play with this and go through it, but I just wanted to give you guys an overview of how we could find those. 